So moving on to the next lesson in the SAP automation with Tosca, we are going to discuss uh, how we can use the SAP modules. We'll look at two modules, which is the logon module and the login module. So these two modules are helpful to start your SAP application and also log in into your SAP application. So first let's go through the SAP modules. Now, before we start, please make sure that you are on the latest Tosca version because uh, the SAP application, which we have configured earlier, which is the SAP 64-bit uh, uh, application, uh, this only works with the latest Tosca versions. This doesn't work with the older versions of Tosca because it is not supported. The older versions of Tosca only support the 32-bit application. But if you're working on a 64-bit application, which is the SAP 8.0 64-bit, then uh, you need to have uh, the latest version of Tosca, right? So currently I am on the 2023.2 version of Tosca. So uh, starting off, first let's look at all the standard modules which are available uh, for your SAP application in Tosca, right? So it's part of the standard modules. And if you go into the T-Box X engines folder, there you will find a folder for SAP. Now this contains all the modules which you can use uh, for automating your SAP based applications. Okay, so uh, we are going to talk about these two modules today, uh, which is the login module and the logon module. Now, um, as you can see, the logon module contains the logon path and the connection which we need to provide so that it can open the SAP logon application. And then the SAP login module, it contains all the uh, credentials like username and password, the language and the client information, which you need to provide in order to log in into the SAP GUI application. Okay, so we'll be using these two modules and we'll see how we can um, use these modules to directly open the application and log in into the application. So let's go to our test cases section now. And here I'm going to create a folder for SAP GUI. And here we will create a new test case. And we will call this SAP login. Now inside this, we will create two modules which are already present. So we will just drag them into here. Uh, first of all, we'll use the SAP logon module. Okay, and then we will also use the SAP login module. Right, so uh, in the SAP logon module, we need to provide the path of the SAP logon and then uh, the connection name, okay? Now, uh, in order to find the logon path, I can go uh, from my desktop to the file location. And this is the SAP logon exe application. From here, I can copy the path. And then I can paste it here. And uh, then if we look at the connection, how you can find the connection. So uh, when we open this application, uh, it will already have uh, that particular connection name which we created earlier, which is IDES extern, okay? So this is the connection name for us. So we will mention that here, right? So these are the two parameters uh, which are required. Uh, the values for this are required in order to launch the SAP logon application. And now um, if I go ahead and just execute this particular step, you will see that uh, the SAP logon application will be launched, okay? And then uh, it will also go uh, into the login screen, right? So it went into the login screen. Uh, we can um, also put some validations around this, okay? But now uh, we need to log in into the SAP screen. So uh, let's go ahead and now use the second module here. So. Let's go back to our test case here. We need to pass the client. Okay, so I can find some of the information right in this application. You can see client is 800. So I will enter that 800. And then language, if you notice here, it is EN, 
okay so i can use the same value so i'll enter en here and then we require the respective user and password okay so i'm going to fill this uh, with my user credentials make sure you use your own user credentials right so now I have filled my username and password. Uh, and the last thing which we have to do is uh, we need to um, hit enter here after we fill the login information. So what we will do, we will use X so that it can hit this enter button. Um, and that's all we have to do, okay? So let's go ahead and let's do this one more time. So let's exit the application and we will go from the beginning, right? So this is the whole login test case. Um, and what we can do, we can mark it as completed here. And then uh, let's go ahead and run this in Scratchbook. So it should not only open the application, uh, but it should also log in using the information which we have provided. Okay. So now, as you can see, uh, it came to this screen. Uh, so it has successfully logged in. We can put some more validations around this after uh, it gets logged in. Like we can check if the log off button is here or some other um, menu item is present here. So any kind of validation which we can use to validate a successful login into our SAP application. Okay, so uh, this is how you can use uh, the existing SAP modules like the SAP login and SAP logon to uh, execute your uh, login test case for your SAP application. You don't need to create these modules from scratch. These are already part of the SAP engine, uh, which helps you to automate the SAP applications. That's all for this particular video. If you have any questions, then please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.